Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's tutorial, I will demonstrate how to cut and sew a camp collar shirt. I drafted the patterns for this in a previous tutorial. The link to the pattern drafting tutorial will be above and in the description box below. Hi, my name is Ayo. And welcome to 011 Clothing Tutorials. On this channel, I upload DIYs, pattern drafting, and sewing tutorials. If you haven't subscribed yet, kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! These are all the pattern pieces needed to make the camp collar shirt. I will go ahead and cut them out on my fabric. This is the front pattern piece which I have already pinned to my fabric. The fabric has already been folded into two layers. I used half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern except for the side seam and the hem where I used 1 inch seam allowance. I will cut it out. I will notch the button stand and the center front positions at the top and also at the hem of the front piece. This is the back piece, which I have already pinned to the fabric. The center back will be cut on fold, so the fabric has been folded into two layers. I used half an inch seam allowance all around the pattern, except for the side seam and the hem where I used one inch seam allowance. I will cut it out. This is the basic short sleeve pattern which I have already pinned to my fabric. The fabric has already been folded into two. I used half an inch seam allowance all around the fabric, except for the side seam and the end where I used one inch seam allowance. I will cut it out. I will notch the middle of the sleeve head. I will also notch the back and the front sides of the sleeve. To cut out the convertible collar, I will fold this piece of fabric into four layers. The center back will be cut on fold. So I will pin the collar pattern to the fabric like this. I will add half an inch seam allowance all around the collar pattern. I will cut it out. These are the two front pieces. I have pressed the cuts together, center front facing to the wrong sides of the two front pieces along the bottom stand extension line. I have also fused interfacing to the wrong sides of the two cut together center front facing on the two front pieces. I will now flip back the center front along the bottom stand line like this. Right sides are together. I will sew the top edge in place using half an inch sewing allowance. What we are sewing basically is the top edge of the one inch bottom stand extension. I will do the same thing on the second front piece as well. 
so now the stitching has been done as you can see I will notch and also reduce the seam allowance above the stitch line before turning the 1 inch long sewing to the right side I will do the same thing on the other front piece as well This is the back piece I will place the two front pieces on top of the back piece like this right side to right side I will move the facing out of the way like this I will paint the shoulders in place after painting I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance so now the stitching has been done as you can see i will go ahead and press upon the same allowances with my pressing iron these are the two convertible color pieces i have fused interfacing to the wrong sides of the two pieces I will now place the two color pieces together like this, right side to right side. I will sew them in place like this using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done. I will trim off the excess seam allowance at these two corners. Then I will turn the color to the right side. I will use a small screwdriver to properly bring out the two ends of the collar i'll go ahead and give the collar a thorough press with my iron so now the pressing has been done as you can see i will fold the collar into two like this and i will notch the middle point i will bring out the main shirt piece and i will notch the center back on the back neckline like this I will pin just one of the collar piece to the back neckline only. Make sure that the middle points match up. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stick it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see just on the back neckline. I will move to one of the front necklines. I will place the collar along the front neckline like this. I will flip over the facing like this so that the collar is sandwiched in between the front neckline and the neckline of the facing. I will pin it in place. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place using half an inch sewing allowance. I will do the same thing on this other side as well i have already pressed in place the half inch seam allowance had the upper edges of the shoulder lines of the front facing so now the stitching has been done I will notch the seam allowances. Then I will turn the collar to the right side. I still have this open end here on the collar that needs to be sewn in place. I will mark the points where the stitching ended on the two sides of the open part I 
I will carefully notch the two sides like this. I will also notch the two sides of the same allowance underneath so that I can fold it up. This open part of the collar will be folded inwards like this. So I will fold it in like this and I will pin it in place. After pinning, I will take it to my sewing machine and I will stitch it in place about one, one eighth of an inch away from the edge of the fabric. So now the stitching has been done as you can see. It remains these upper parts of the shoulders of the facing. It needs to be fixed in place. Sewing this correctly with a sewing machine can be very tricky. To do this easily, I will simply unstitch it in place using a needle and a thread. Alternatively, a hemming gum can be used. So now I have unstitched it in place as you can see. I will now go ahead and sew the side seams together using one inch sewing allowance. Right sides should be together. I have sewn the side seams together as you can see. These are the two sleeve pieces. I will aim the two sleeve pieces at the lower parts. After doing this, I will fold the sleeve into two so like the right sides are together. I will sew the side seams in place using one inch sewing allowance. So now the stitching has been done as you can see and I've given the two sleeve pieces a thorough press with my pressing iron. I will now go ahead and fix the sleeves to the armholes of the shirt. I will also aim the lower part of the shirt. So now that has been done, as you can see, I have fixed the sleeves to the armholes of the shirt and I have also aimed the lower part of the shirt. I will now go ahead and fix my buttons and button holes to the center front of the shirt. So now that has been done, as you can see, and this is the final look of the camp color shirt. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing, and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.